Hi, my name is Ishan. In this video, I will show how to set up your project to use uh, framework buffer classes. Uh, framework buffer classes uh, provides a benefit to, like if you want to override some of the code. So you can uh, basically patch in, in the buffer classes without disturbing the code in framework. So we will see what are the base classes. We'll double click the model project and in the base classes section under business components, we can actually see the name of classes uh, our project will use. So what we'll do in this video, actually we will override them. So instead of these classes, we will use our custom classes. So first step is to create some classes. Java classes which extend these classes. So first, best better practice is like you can uh, give a package name framework. You can start with the company name like I in this example I'm taking my company, and the first example is like entity info, and uh, in the extend section. I will I will override this entity impel class uh, I will extend sorry uh, my company entity this class will just provide a layer and it will actually extend the base classes and same thing we will continue with other classes in this in this example I will just uh, New object tempo and uh, same thing I will do with uh, all base classes are actually inside this oracle.jbo.server package. You can extend it the same way. So, next step actually, uh, we will take this class and let me copy this. And we'll overwrite here the name. For example, uh, let's override the entity impl. So we'll go to override this dot my comp entity impl. And uh, same same I can do for the view objects also. For this video, I will stuck to this. And whenever I will create a new entity in, oops, I have to set up a okay, should be able to. This step you usually do before starting the project. And let's take departments and now you can see we have and when we will generate to uh, the Java classes for this so actually it will department impl it will actually extend this my comp entity impl and the other class you can see it's actually extending directly the entity def impl so same step you can follow for all classes under the base classes you can use your own classes and uh, this class these classes are nothing but just uh, extending the uh, base classes of the project framework so this is generally a good practice hope you enjoy it and found it helpful goodbye